This is a demo of the new uh, features added to SW Loretta Navigator that will be released uh, with uh, NeuroGuide version 2.9.4. Uh, all of the fundamental features are still in uh, the, uh, the, the SW Loretta, the same as previous. Uh, for example, here are the Brobman areas. You can sort by number. Uh, you can sort by hemisphere. You can sort by the magnitude of the z-score and the center value voxel. But what's new is that we've now added networks and a symptom checklist. For example, with networks, one can select a network. Let's say we select the anxiety network. Then you can examine the problem areas that comprise the anxiety network. You can sort by number, you can sort by hemisphere, you can sort by the strength of the z-scores in the center of voxel. You can turn on the atlas to identify the uh, problem areas that make up the uh, anxiety network. Uh, this is the demo patient who was damaged in the right hemisphere. So. Uh, the anxiety network, though, is is here. Um, we can then also go at the symptom checklist. We can look at attention, let's say, deficits. Uh, and that immediately opens up the voxel boundaries for the uh, dorsal attention network. And we can examine the problem areas that comprise the dorsal attention network. We can sort by number. We can sort by hemisphere. We can sort by center voxel. Uh, magnitude of the z-score and uh, once we are satisfied with what we have and we want then to do a neurofeedback uh, uh, session on a patient let's say in this case the anxiety network uh, we would or, or attention network we would uh, click file save the neurofeedback file as a dot so5 navigate to where the patient's folder is and then uh, uh, label uh, name the file and save it that will then be used uh, to load the protocol into uh, Loretta Z-Score Neurofeedback uh, panel. So when you launch the Loretta Z-Score Neurofeedback, you can navigate to where that panel is, I mean, where that file is, uh, and load it uh, in. And now you've got your protocol all set to go specific to the problem areas that are linked to the patient's symptoms. Uh, and NeuroGuide looks at the magnitude of the Z-Scores rank orders them, and uh, lists the z-scores of greatest value. Uh, you can determine the, the value of the z-scores that you want to use by uh, clicking the scale and then adjust the z-score value. Here we have it at 3.38. Uh, you may want to go down to 2.6 or whatever it is. And then when you click uh, file, save the uh, .so5 file, you will have more uh, uh, the problem areas since you've lowered the z-score. Or if you want fewer problem areas, you can raise the z-score. So that is the new feature, uh, networks, symptom checklist, uh, the ability to create a .so5 file. So now you can you know, rapidly go from an assessment using SW Loretta to the neurofeedback protocol uh, selecting the um, regions that are most deviant from normal and do this in just a few mouse clicks and uh, this will facilitate linking the patient's symptoms to uh, dysregulation in brain networks.